So I, uh, this is um, about my admiration for my doctor's son, Susumu Ogawa, and good friend, Susumu Ogawa. Thank you. He came to MIT uh, in 1994, which is now, you know, a long time ago. A long time ago. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, I thought immediately how interesting and scholarly he was. So um, in MIT what we do is we choose uh, uh, our students that we want to work with. And so after I'd seen him for a year or so, I very much chose to have him uh, as my student. And uh, he and I began to work together. Now at the time, uh, one of the really important areas in open and user innovation was called sticky information. And there was a theory paper on it. But there really wasn't good evidence. And it's very difficult to start out in an area because the first time you start to develop evidence, you have to figure out how to collect it. You have to figure out what evidence is. Mm -hmm. And so uh, Susumu did a wonderful job on that. I mean, it was just, it's still one of the two best papers in that field. And uh, I'm very grateful that he did that work, and uh, it was very successful. After that, Susumu went off, that was his PhD thesis. After that, Susumu went off to Kobe as a professor. And uh, happily for me, we continued to work together. He attended. Uh, our open and user innovation meetings and uh, we continued on the idea of measuring national sort of household sector innovation, doing surveys. And uh, he, there was one that was done in the UK and then Sassoon came along and did the second and the third. And that was very important. He did them in Japan and the US in a very high quality fashion. And uh, it became two thirds of what we knew at that time about uh, innovation in the household sector. That in turn has become very important over the years. And uh, what Sassoon did uh, now, with respect to calculations of the importance, we built on his work in the U.S., his survey, and found out that the household sector research adds 10% to U.S. GDP. So it's, it's a remarkably strong finding. And just as in the case of sticky information, what Sumo has done is do the critical early building work in each of these important topics. So I don't know where he and I will go next, uh, but I'm always grateful that he's an affiliate with me at MIT and that we work together on research. So thank you, Susumu. Thank you. So uh, just one question. So uh, you mentioned the uh, what I did uh, in two papers were very important to uh, user innovation yeah. research. Is that correct? That's right. I mean, and there are more. I mean, when uh, when you did, so you did the work, the really very early work in establishing how to measure the impacts of sticky information. You did very early work in how to measure and measuring uh, household sector innovation in the US and Japan. And then also you have with your students done very important work on the impacts of community. You know, household sector individuals can either make projects on their own or they can do it collaboratively. And your work, uh, is the work that has made it possible for us to understand the importance of these collective innovation projects for innovation and diffusion. So at least 
in my area, there are those three major types of work that you have done. And then, of course, we add on to that Muji and so on, the research on mechanisms for getting innovations from uh, uh, consumers into the uh, producer field. So that's quite a lot, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Four major, major sort of pieces of the overall innovation story mm -hmm. is what you and your students and you and I have done. Mm -hmm. How important for you? Very important for me. Mm -hmm. I mean, the entire uh, book that I just wrote, Free Innovation, is built on uh, household sector innovation. And as I say, you were the one who brought it from a, uh, a single study that we had done in the UK to the second and third countries. Now there are ten countries. But at the time I wrote the book, there were only six. And uh, so half or what, a third of the work was uh, yours mm -hmm. that, uh, that I built the book upon. So very important for me. So uh, do you remember uh, when we had a professor meeting at, uh, let me see, uh, Vienna or Hamburg? So uh, you were asking a member of the community to do a, a similar study yes. on the national uh, user innovation yes. research. Yes. So, Yes, yeah. and, and so several people said, oh yes, what a good idea, but you were the only one who actually did it. <laughs> That's right. That was wonderful of you. Yeah. So w was it uh, helpful for... Enormous. It was basically, again, uh, a single country study in the UK might have gotten lost, but to document it across three countries then starts to make it something that is a field that other people can recognize as important. So yeah, it was very important and, and I was so grateful that you did it. It was like, uh, you know, you had to raise the money, mm -hmm. you had to find a way to get it done, and you were very careful in the work. Mm -hmm. So that in fact, and you saved the data and so on, so that the latest work showing the impact in the US of this kind of activity was built directly upon your data. Mm 